Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for a general love reading. This reading is what you may not know. Okay, so this is what's taking place uh, spiritually that you do not see externally, carnally through your naked eye. This is what's taking place behind the scenes pertaining to love surrounding you at this time, okay? It could be something that you may need to work on to elevate your intuition or make your intuition more a more sharp where you know what you're hearing. Because once again, you know, my disclaimer, I feel like tarot should represent something that's going to bring clarity or some type of confirmation to what spirit is already showing you. Because we don't know everything, but I guarantee you know more about your situation than any reader, just like we all do. So the overall energy is the nine of cups here. So there's a lot of emotional happiness here, but you you know what, Scorpios? I could tell this is a Scorpio reading here, Scorpio. So what you may not see, what you may not understand here, Scorpios, is if you're not happy, because look at her. She looks like she's smug. I was going to say somebody look like they're not really happy here. You see that? You see that grin on her face? You see that? You see her? Is that a smirk? <laughs> it looks like it's a smirk here. Is she smirking? But she sure is happy. She's surrounded by love. So, Scorpio, I do feel the need to encourage you to know that you are love. Yes, I'm encouraging you. You're so surrounded by love here, Scorpio. You know, a lot of times when you don't have specifically what you want, it had it could have you, uh, you know, paying attention too much of the negative and not being thankful and grateful for what is good in your life. So this is the nine of cups, Scorpio. So I feel like if you're not at a place of happiness, Scorpios, you're going to be. Now, you remember, you got up to 10 cups. You're almost there. So imagine the type of happiness that is coming your way. Or if this is what you're already in, Scorpios, Spirit tells you to be grateful, be thankful, and just know, let's see, you may have a choice to make here. Ooh, so you may have somebody checking you out here, Scorpio. So, okay, the page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Now, check it out, Scorpio. Don't get so happy and content with your happy life, honey, that you don't hear them whistling at you now. Now, now you know they're going to be whistling at you, child. Now, and now, 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 what they say, no matter how high I get, I still be looking up to you. Now, Scorpio, don't get so happy and content with being whatever you got going on that you cannot pay attention to these gestures, because I feel like somebody's trying to get your attention here, Scorpios. I do. But I feel like for some of you Scorpios who feel like you got it all together, I ain't going to say feel like you must do, because look, they go the freaking sun card. Ooh, Scorpio, so maybe you don't know this yet. They go to the page of cups, look at the page of swords and the page of cups, see? Look at that. You got you got two sick, you got, you got two people, you got, already got two crushes already. You see, do you see this? You got Leo energy. You got fire in water. Now, I'm going to tell you about Scorpios and, and Leos because that's the sun card, baby. That's Leo. See, I like this. The little, little child, at least he got on clothes, y'all. You see that? Thank you. Thank you, card, card producer. Now, that's some of them showing a little something, but you know, you have to scratch that out. But at least the child got his clothes on. And look how beautiful and vibrant that sun is. Isn't this fun and festive? It's so beautiful and inspiring here, Scorpios. So you are such an inspiration here, Scorpios, to people that, that see you. When you see, when people look at you, people when people admire you, when they look at you, when they really uh, take note of you, because believe it or not, Scorpios, this could be somebody here where you're on a lunch break here and um, you're eating your food and they're watching you eat your food. Somebody may like how you eat your food. <laughs> Somebody may like how you play that hard to get energy because she playing hard to get. Now, look at her. She got a little pimp egg coat wrapped around her. That's a pimp egg coat, honey. Look at it. Look, And then you know what the red shoes, the red shoes represents the yes, I am a Scorpio. You know about me. <laughs> Ooh, snap, snap, snap. Some of y'all in that Scorpio honor. What that Scorpio onic? Scorpio on Scorpio honor. Scorpio Anna energy is what I'm feeling here. Well, y'all know everything. Look, look, the kneecaps look all strong and sturdy. Look at her knees look like a heart, don't it? See that, Scorpio? Some of y'all trying to, some of y'all going to try to play hard to get. And then it could be, like I said, it could be a situation here, Scorpios, where you so busy, you know, you know, feeling like you're good and, you know, you're just having a good time being by yourself. Ooh, and look at the cane. Ooh. King of Pentacles. Some of y'all got an earth sign here. Ooh, 
Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. Okay, I see it. So I feel like you make this person feel like a little puppy here, Scorpios. I feel like you just makes ooh, you somebody may be looking at you because they want something serious. But be careful, Scorpios. For some of y'all, y'all got a married man that's checking y'all out, and you have, they have they're totally smitten by you with that hierophant. And look, there go the seven of swords in the reverse here. Ooh. Now, you could be dealing with somebody here who may want to come clean about something, too. Scorpio, something may be about to come to light, honey, about something here. And they may, you may have already found out something here, but some of you guys may have already found out something, but you're too G to even give up what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it probably stung a little bit, but you still on your position, though. They didn't move you about your position is what I'm saying. And they checking you out like, God dang, I can't believe you still shining. Damn, <laughs> I know you the one, you know. Or, or they said, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. You know, it could be something like that. I'm just saying. Now, like I said, that ten of swords, is, I mean, that seven of swords is there. So it could be something that, you know, came to light here. It could represent somebody's checking out you saying, you know what? You, you 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 look like you can bring me the type of happiness where I don't feel like I got to play those games. I ain't got to lie to you. I can just be real and honest with you. You look like you really a down chick. You know what I'm saying? Cause don't she look like a, a, a gangster ad? I'm telling you, she got, a, she got look, at the, look at her trench coat wrapped around her. Only uh, only gangsters wear their coats like that. Now, see, she's a real G. Yes, she is. Now, now, you know G when you see it. So it's almost like somebody got to respect your gangster. <laughs> They got to respect Scorpio's gangster, but it but it's not a bad gangster. It's a loving gangster. It's just that that's that. See see see, see this must be Scorpio stinger out type of energy. I feel like even if it's the nine of cups, is what I'm feeling like. I feel still feel like that stinger is out, okay? And you ain't playing no games because you ain't got to. If you're finding emotional happiness in yourself, then you're not going to let anybody come disrupted. They better come on with the real or they don't need to come at all because you're already happy on your own. You done figured out how to be happy on your own, then it ain't too much more they can bring. They show don't need to bring no sad. <laughs> How you going to bring me sad and I'm, and, and, and I'm sitting on top of the sun? I mean, if I'm already sitting on top of the sun, you can't do nothing but elevate me or maybe you don't need to be here. But as you can see, the King of Pentacles is very, very bright and abundant, isn't he? Ain't he bling? He got his bling. You see his bling? He is litty, litless. So this could be somebody here who is very, very materialistic, honey. I'm talking about every time you see them, they done went and hit the, hit the guy's shoe, uh, shine their shoes and stuff. And they always getting them. This is somebody who, who gets tailor-made clothes, baby. I'm talking about, yes, they got the uh, cha-ching. I'm talking about everything speaks of luxury and money. They are a baller, shot caller. They like to flash what they have. And you're going to see this person in the most expensive either watch. I don't see them wearing uh, over extreme, but the little items that they wear is going to be very, very expensive and very, very um. Very, very, uh, it, it's going to be fitting a boss here. This is somebody here. It seems like the less is better for this person because everybody already know what they got. So I'm just saying, you, you know, you may, you may be folding your own because you're like, boy, I don't care what you got. I'm good. <laughs> they said, but I got the money though. You got the happy and I got the money. We, we'll do just fine. <laughs> ah, snap, scrub. All right, so let's clarify this and let's just see. Now, that's what I felt. Now, that's what I feel, Channel. Now, these cards could tell you a different story. There's so many energies and so many different scenarios these could go because these are general readings, Scorpio. So take it how it resonates. But off the dome, off the brain, baby, that's what I get. <laughs> and it ain't bad because remember, you're sitting on top of the sun, baby. Maybe some of y'all trying to sit on. Okay, all right. I'm excited. See that Leo right there? So let's check it out. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Scorpio? Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. Like I feel like, mm, see there, Scorpio, this is what I just said. And these are what these cards is telling me from what I feel like. Nine of Cups, you got the Two of Swords. Like, I feel like you probably, some of y'all at the, at the point now where they can't just come and do just any old thing. They cannot just come and say just any old thing with you because I feel like you're getting it on your own. The Eight of Cups. I feel like some of you guys are not as emotionally engaging now or it, uh, at least, uh, or maybe this little spirit telling you maybe you should do this, okay? 
Uh, you ain't jumping in, nobody. You ain't thirsty. You already find emotional happiness in your own. And some of y'all had tapped that in a way because you realize if you jump in too fast with your love, you're going to get hurt. So some of y'all, you're going to pose as a challenge to this King of Pentacles, and you know they love challenges, honey. So it's almost like a boss, big daddy, uh, King, uh, uh, big daddy Kane, baby. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. There's somebody here who always got a toothpick in his mouth, and he always wear a cowboy boot. Sometimes he wear a cowboy hat. He, love, he may have a farm. He may even have animals. He may like animals here. Uh, but I feel like this is somebody here who is a fun person here. But, oh, my God, they, this person may be used to a, a nice life. They're used to having whatever they want to have here. And um, I feel like this is somebody here who, I feel like you're not going to chase nobody because I do see the Knight of Swords <laughs> In the reverse, I don't feel like you're going to chase after anybody, Scorpio, because for some of y'all, I feel like you're training yourself to behave better when it comes to relationships, especially when you meet somebody here who you feel like could possibly rock your world, honey, because you know it's always one that would do that to you. I feel like in this case, Scorpio, you're going to meet somebody or somebody's coming into your life, but they may be coming into Scorpio's life when Scorpio is not easily impressed. And that is what's going to guard your heart fairly. You ain't doing nothing wrong, but I feel like you're not get, you're not going to be led by your emotions this time around, Scorpios, because I feel like for some of y'all, you have detached from that part of you in order to find happiness within yourself. That way, when the right one comes, I don't give a crap how awesome and amazing they be, you still ain't going to lose your cool, Scorpio, because you done found your own inner peace and your inner happiness. And that right there is going to make them want y'all the more because they, they like it when you put up a challenge, honey. Oh, yeah, they love it. Don't you like it? I mean, of course, the women don't want to get turned down, but I'm just saying, don't it, don't it, doesn't it, um, kind of uh, pleases you if you kind of turn them down, but they don't stop. Now, if they immediately stop, <laughs> they ain't supposed to. Now, if, if they immediately stop, it went wrong. You start again. But if you play it right, they're going to keep on pursuing you because they really want you. That's what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to want nobody here who hurry up giving themselves. And I ain't talking about intimate. I'm just saying you shouldn't even give a stranger your attention like that. It's really too dangerous. But I'm just saying everybody don't deserve you smiling. They don't deserve all of that. But I feel like this is one of those moments where y'all got the little stinger. It's right there. They, they just don't know it. It's tread lightly, partner. But at the same time, you're still good. So you even may smile. You may strut your stuff. But you ain't coming in with no Scorpio love. Why is the sun here for Scorpios? What does Scorpio may not see? Scorpio, what does Scorpios may not know? Let's say what you may not know. So what it is you may not know is you're so much more powerful. And for some, some of you Scorpios, what Spirit wants you to know also, you may not know that if you are a single Scorpio and you are alone, honey, you are at the best place at the best time in your life. Because what you're going to start doing is running into all these people in these relationships. Remember, it's judgment time. And you're going to start seeing a lot of sad relationships. And you're going to start catching the eye of the people in relationships attention. That's just what it is. So at least you're looking. I ain't looking. I'm just telling you what I see. At least you ain't in no, no sad, unhappy relationship. And y'all out here dating everybody. eyes is wandering off somewhere else. It just seemed like for the single people, everybody's wondering. I is going to be wondering in your direction as well as any other single person. But especially, honey, if you are a Scorpio. So got the sun card. See, you just light the way. You just you just bring all of you bring all the Scorpio ness ness. And everybody wants to see you then. To a Pentacles here. Yeah, you see, I feel like this is somebody here who you may, you, you're not gonna jump at it. You're gonna give it some time. You're gonna think about it. Um, you know, because I feel like you're at a good place, but then it could ooh, wow, okay. <clears throat> so the sun card. What is that? So I feel like this is what somebody's saying. Look at here. See, I feel like this is what you were saying, Scorpios, because you have. The Empress and the Nine of Cups again. See, this is what y'all saying. Y'all saying, baby, you must not know who I am. Now, Scorpio, y'all must not know who you really, really are. I don't care if you are a masculine or a feminine. Because this Empress card always comes out for you. But look at her. She's not, it don't, I say her, but that's, that's the feminine energy. It doesn't, I'm just saying the Scorpio, you're in the, if, if you're the emperor or the empress, don't you know that that's where you should be? This is abundant here. This is fertility. This is, you know, fertility means that things are fertile. Things will grow. That means that the seeds you are planted have been planted on fertile ground, Scorpios. Therefore, it is growing. We ain't going to say it will grow, baby. We're going to say it is growing in, in the uh, right now sense, okay? Nine of Cups is emotional happiness. There it is again, see? 
See that Scorpio? See? So whoever come into your life or somebody, they're going to find a happy Scorpio. And for some of y'all Scorpios, y'all may not be quite feeling that way of yet. But then again, like I said, this could be this person trying to come to you and they're going to realize they're going to have to do way much more than what they thought they were going to have to do. <laughs> they thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> they think it's going to be easy, Scorpio. But little do they know they done met a new improved Scorpio is what I see. See there? See, King of Pentacles got that Midas touch but see, they ain't never met Scorpio. Yeah, it's done worked on everybody else, but Scorpio is not going to work on you. So I feel like this is somebody here. They can't help it. You know, they're they going to look. See there? Look what you got coming in. Ten of Cups. See there? See what's standing your ground and standing in your essence, do Scorpio. The Page of Swords. What's going on with the Page of Swords? For what Scorpio may not know. Page of Swords. Libra just see that Knight of Pentacles. You don't know. They on their way, baby. They slowly making their way. Somebody is slowly making their way to you. So I feel like what I'm telling you is something that is going to happen here, okay? Now, I feel like, and then for some of you guys, this may be somebody here who you are newly meeting here. Like, I feel like whoever the energy is, for some of you, Scorpio, because see, this is why your arms is going to be folded. Now, I'm going about it. Look, don't come for me. It, it's a general. Did I say general, y'all? It is a general reading. It is not for everybody. I'm sorry. I can't do everybody. It ain't for everybody. It's just not. The reason why your arms is focused, some of y'all still got still got unforgiveness for your past person. Some of y'all still got unresolved issues here, and, and it's gonna show. I don't care. You may everything may be goody, goody, good, good, but them arms is folded up there like that. And like I feel like you got the two of swords. Like I say, ain't nobody gonna easily get your attention because some of y'all still getting over the anger and resentment for your past relationship. But it don't matter. You're going to get this happily ever after anyway, sweetheart, because you deserve it, Scorpio. Yes, you do. You deserve it, Scorpio. It don't matter. One monkey don't stop no show. Baby, there's plenty of monkeys out here. <laughs> Scorpio, don't you know there's plenty of monkeys out here? <laughs> oh, my God. Scorpio must be the holiday energy, honey. I don't know. Maybe it's the cold medicine. <laughs> Oh, look at that. They go that sun card again. So some of y'all finna live a happily ever after life with a Leo here, Scorpios. You got this page of cups here. Like, I feel like, I feel like you just open somebody up in such a gentle, loving way. And all they probably want to do is just want you to just cuddle them like this person's cuddling this fish. <laughs> they said, cuddle me in your scorpio -ness, ness Page of cups. What's up with this page of cups? Now, this could be somebody reaching out to you. It could be somebody here who's going to start really trying to, it's almost like you may be really, really humbling a boss, okay? Like, I feel like this person's never met anyone like you. You make them feel so awkward. <laughs> you make them constantly check the mirror and look at their teeth and look and make sure they ain't got no boogers in their nose and stuff. You know, they steadily, they steady going, <sighs> They steady checking their breath to make sure their breath don't smell bad. You know, you got this person steady rustling up their tie and making sure they buckle and everything. <laughs> Oh, you got somebody nervous, Scorpios. And like I say, Scorpio, you got a boss nervous, honey. Anytime you got a boss nervous, honey, you must already have this person. You make them feel like a kid again, Scorpios. All right, page of cups for Scorpios. What does Scorpio not see in this page of cups? You make them feel young again, baby. I'm telling you, maybe that's why they're empress there. Because they say, you know what, maybe we can have a family. Maybe I ain't too old. <laughs> Page of Cups of Will, this person finna change your life, Scorpio. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> See there, Scorpio, when love comes, yeah, you better answer and unfold your goddamn arms. <laughs> you better answer. Because y'all know some of y'all really not happy being alone, Scorpio, but you can change that. Because the Will of Fortune say, I'm, all that's about to change, Scorpios. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or another Scorpio, baby. The Wheel of Fortune is on that house. You see that? I always say that because it's always on that house. And you got the house right there with the Ten of Cups. Ooh, Scorpios. What's up with this page of cups? Ooh. 
Some of you, oh, Scorpio, you're going to have cause to celebrate. There it is, honey. Three of cups. Oh, Scorpio, you got celebration. I feel like you got multiple, multiple opportunities. This is why this wheel of fortune is about to change your life because it's not going to just be in one area, Scorpio. Don't you know it's going to be in multiple areas? I'm talking about you see how the wheel, you see the wheel is it's on it's on everything. You hear me? It's on everything. If you if you got a beautiful home that's bought and paid for with the land, then you know you know blessings come in pairs. They don't just come by themselves. Now you know the universe wouldn't send just no one lonely blessing with you to just be by themselves. No, the, the the universe gotta send multiple, multiple, multiples. And I see multiple, multiple, multiples for Scorpio. See, cause you up to three. You got three cups. You may have to take a toast for each gift that you get. Scorpio, three of cups. Ooh, sin, I tell you. Ooh, there it is, Scorpio. See there? I see y'all bringing in the new year, Scorpio, in an abundant way. Don't you see it? You're bringing in the new year, 2024. You see four? You see that? You're bringing in the new year, Scorpio. Don't you know that the new year, 2024, you're about to get it all? Don't you see? Ooh, do somebody hear me? Oh my God, y'all, I see this. <laughs> y'all, I feel the presence, y'all. I'm telling you, I just see it. They, they're celebrating. This is 2024, Scorpio. This is bringing in the New Year's. Don't you know your life is about to change, Scorpio? It is tremendously bad. This is what you don't see. Wow, Scorpio. So you gonna keep your little old Scorpio sting of arms folded, baby. Spirit got the right one for you. You ain't gotta worry about it. All right, the higher fence come. Now you know, for some of y'all, y'all gonna go to some type of event, some grand event, some I feel like a new year. I feel like this a holiday reading, Scorpios. But I feel like y'all about to go out. Something's gonna happen, y'all. Don't you know? Cause see, there you go, toasting. 10, 9, 8, don't you hear it? And, and why are you doing that? That wheel is... And then when they say New Year's, it's going to be on. It's going to be the win around all of them. And which one will it land for you? Is it going to be the love that you've always desired, that new home, money, uh, good health, success, enlightenment, commitment, knowledge? What is it going to be for you? What does it represent for you, Scorpio? Because it's coming... Ooh, I want it all, baby. I'm talking about I get that wheel like that. <laughs> they were like, God damn, you're going to break it. <laughs> I'm like, I got some WD-40. <laughs> Y'all, I'm talking about you. if you cannot think like that, then you cannot have it. You got to think like that in order to get it down here. Yeah. And I feel like this higher thing going to help you get it. What's up with the higher thing for Scorpios? What Scorpio don't see, what they don't know. This Hierophant energy is a teacher. It is a spiritual guide or it's an enlightenment one. Somebody here who can teach you something. Somebody you can learn something. Could be some type of institution. Could be a building. Could be a main event. Somebody could get some type of outlandish uh, uh, invitation to one of the biggest, most known gatherings or something like that. And it changed your whole life. I'm telling you. Oof. Queen of Swords in reverse. We don't want that. Why is the Hierophant here? Oh, snap. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, and there go the freaking lovers. You're going to meet somebody, Scorpio. Ooh. Maybe is this you? You got the nine of You got the empress here. You're going to meet the person of your dreams for some of y'all at some event, and they are single. This person is single, Scorpios. Somebody, or this could be you. You're not going to be single for long. I feel like because you got the four ones here, Scorpio. You got that king of pentacles, too. It could be that this king of pentacles is looking for love because you do got the knight, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups. Like I say, you could be all out here having yourself a good old time here, Scorpio, and you're going to catch this person's eye here because... See, you ain't going to be paying attention. Look at all them cups being raised. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, somebody. And then you got the nine of cups here. <laughs> you got the nine of cups right here too. <laughs> Some of y'all going to be toasting and y'all going to lock ass with Big Daddy. What's up with this King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles for the Scorpios. What's up with the King? Ooh. The Queen of Cups. <laughs> Goodness, Scorpio, there they go. There you go. You see that? Ooh, that's you see that four one. See, 
Some of y'all gonna bring in the New Year's with your twin flame, Scorpio. You see this? Under the moon, make a wish because it's gonna happen. See, because there go the wheel. Whatever you proclaim, whatever you declare, and, and uh, whatever you, uh, whatever those affirmations and decree and declare, Scorpio, coming in the New Year, you're gonna get it. See? Some of y'all going to be with y'all person here. You're going to, you're going to be with your person bringing in 2024 Scorpio. There it is. It's right there. Scorpio. You got to see it. This is for those who see it. Don't you see it's going to be underneath that moon? Don't you see the cups out? Look, they already popping firecrackers out there in the, the, the sky is going to be full of stars. I was driving. It's been a long time since I really seen stars. It seemed like it's been so cloudy. But my gosh, it just seemed like it was just a burst of stars. You know, this time of the year is when it's really, really starry skies. Those are the most times you can take the most beautiful pictures, man. And every time you take a picture, it's going to be something in it that you did not see when you took that picture because the skies and the stars are aligning. The, the skies and the stars, the gods are talking and they're ready, Scorpio. But it's not them. It's just you taking, a, it's just, it's just destiny. It's just supposed to happen. So it's like you ain't even got to do nothing, but everything and see this is gonna this is gonna be so 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 precise that you don't know that this is gonna happen you're not preparing for this you're just going through your everyday thing doing what you normally do because if you knew about it you would sabotage it in some type of way whether you were aware of it or not because you know sometimes you get nervous and you react differently so this is why you're not gonna know this you know you ain't knowing because y'all gonna y'all gonna like ah, ah. I'm a go girl because I bought something new. If I hadn't bought, spent all that money and, and got my hair and, and everything done, then I, I wouldn't go. But yeah, I'm going to go and go. Honey, when you go, it's going to change your whole life. Somebody is looking for you, Scorpios, and they're looking to love you. And you know how the king get down. You know the king know he got him a bad one because you know she love him. You know how that queen of cups get down, baby. And this king, queen of cups ain't got to worry about nothing because her king of pentacles, which is her king of cups, is going to love her just like she is the only one Scorpio yes it is this person don't want to be single Scorpio they looking for love baby are you now you be saying you ready and win but your attitude gotta be right honey your attitude gotta be right and you gotta always put yourself out there some type of way even if it's just your mentality you can't still be mad at somebody from the past Scorpio you gotta be able to let go so that you can get something better see that because he coming with the Rizil Ace of Pentacles. See, this is who coming. See there? I tell you, this person coming in here offering real love and commitment here. This is what they looking for. They say it's cold, baby. I know what I want. Come on, let's go to my yard. Let's let's go to my mansion. You know, you dig, you know, baby. You, you ain't got to buy no clothes, baby. You ain't got to. Yes, we finna jump on this private jet. Look, don't come for me. If you can't imagine this, then this ain't you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't mess up my flow. And yeah, I know it's you, Scorpio, because Spirit says some of y'all going to have to get ready to do something you ain't never did before in order to have something that you've never experienced before, Scorpio. This is for somebody, Scorpio. Your life is about to change. Coming in the new year, Scorpio, it's right here. It's already written in the stars for you. Don't you see it? You got to be able to see it. And this is what you just so fiably deserve. Don't forget who we're talking about, baby. We're talking about the divine feminine or the divine masculine Scorpio. Beautiful, abundant kings, queens, abundant leaders. You're leaders, Scorpios. You are divine. Yes, you are. You are different, baby. You are just a little bit better than the rest. Yes, I said it. And it's time for you to know it. All right, Scorpio, this is what you may not know, honey. Ooh, isn't it beautiful, though? But you know now, no, don't you? <laughs> we can't keep nothing. <laughs> All right, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.